All right, guys, today we are in an area of Arizona. We passed Wickenburg, and we're out here, like, uh, down in, like, in the vulture-type area. We came looking for a claim that was, uh, it's a GPAA claim, uh, Redemption 1, which I think, well, let me show you where I'm at. This is going to be a long video, so have patience with me here. Okay, as you can see here, that's the type of rock that I've been seeing up here. It's like a green type of olivine. Then I'm seeing all kinds of like volcanic type igneous rocks up here. As you can see, I'm sitting like on top of an old neck uh, of a volcano. It's all covered with olivine up here. And as you can see over here, this is actually the top of the neck area where I'm at right now. Uh, so this is what it looks like. It breaks into these big red chunks of burned up black type rock. As you can see, it continues down that way. And that redemption claim is back there somewhere behind those cactuses down there. Probably like a couple of hundred, three, four hundred yards out there, but we just got tired of driving. We stopped up here, and this is all BLM land. So when you come out of here and you don't find a claim, just go on on the uh, national land and dig whatever you like. So while I was climbing up here. As you can see, I got a freaking hole going on over here. I got a really faint signal out of that hole. Dug it down about maybe five or six inches, but now I'm starting to hear. I can, I can, I got a signal now. Before it was like, it was like this, kind of light, but now I'm kind of getting down into it. So we can see, uh, let me see. I've been digging for a while. I've dug like about maybe 20 holes and I'm finding BBs. Let's see what we got going on here. You can see now, this was all like a black uh, dirt, like sediment that's been accumulating probably for about 40, 50 years or so, maybe more. It's pretty thick, it's about maybe four or five inches. And then all of a sudden, below that, it drops into like an area of clay. And as you can see, now you're starting to see red clay and some of that like caliche type rock. So as you can see, that's my pick. So you can see the size of the hole already. Pretty fat. You gotta dig holes with these damn metal detectors. Okay, let me see. Oh, we're getting closer. Let's see. Yeah, it's been raining out here a lot, so it's been accumulating a lot of dirt and clay up here. Okay.
Okay, so I think we moved it. Let's see where it's at. I put my detector always in one of those bushes, like I said, holder. That way at least I can see what's going on. So I think, so I hear somewhere. Nothing there. Okay, we got the sucker in, the, in here. Let's do it over here. Still the scoop. As you can see the color of the dirt. So I guess it's in here somewhere now. Alright, so it's in here. Let's see what we got in here. A rock. You can see the mud. Maybe you guys can help me find it. Oh, I think I feel something heavy right there. Ah, there it is, a little chunker. Yeah. Yeah, she's pretty. She's kind of small though. But I can definitely feel a little bit of weight, probably like a half a gram or a little bit more maybe. There you go guys, so that's what you get out here. So at least we know there's definitely something out here. Yeah, this was a pretty nice chunk when you drop it. I actually dropped it and just picked it up. So that's it. So let me put it in my mouth. As you can see my truck, I don't know if you can see the truck over there. Over there. All the way out there in the distance. So this is the beginning of the journey. I just got here. So it took me about an hour to find the first target. Now I'll continue hunting around through here. My buddy that came with me, Dale, I seen him hanging right up there, but this guy's a psychopath. He likes to go like up there. Like later on, I'll be around this area or going over a hill and I'll look up in the mountain and I'll see him over there somewhere. So you can see this is a pretty area out here. A little barrel cactus action going on. Yeah, this vulture area here, um, it's had like the vulture mine and 
the vulture wash and the vulture bar and the vulture. As a matter of fact, it's funny because as soon as I drove into uh, the area, I saw, we saw uh, two vultures like on top of a freaking um, dead rabbit on the road tearing it apart. As a matter of fact, there's my buddy Dale down there. I just spotted him. He's on there. So that's about it, man. I'm gonna have to call it quits because I'm already going over the 10 minute mark. There she is. Been in a couple of minutes in my mouth. So she got a little character to her, so she's nice. All right, so thanks a lot for always hanging out and watching the videos, and I'll catch you on the next one.